Hello everyone, this video is going to be talking about hybrid armor. Hybrid armor is three different sets of armor that are used only in minigames. They don't give any stats outside of Soul Wars, Castle Wars, Fist of Gothics, and Fight Pits. And each of the sets, each of the three sets, you can see them on the screen here, they give great bonuses for two combat styles and bad stats for the third, and they all require 85 defense and then 85 in the styles that they're good in. So for example, Battle Mage is good for melee and uh, magic, but it's very bad for range. It gives a lot of negative range bonuses. So it requires 85 defense, 85 strength, and 85 magic. They all give bonuses comparable to next armors, just without the life point boost, but they're good in two combat styles, which is a little bit tricky. Sometimes it's really nice, and sometimes it's not so nice. But uh, given that you don't have to pay anything to get them, it's a pretty good deal. They also give great offensive bonuses. Each piece of the armor gives 3% damage bonus for every combat style. So you get a total of 15% damage bonus for wearing an entire set. And in Castle Wars, as long as you're wearing four pieces of hybrid armor, you'll get the uh, full damage bonus because you can't wear the helms in Castle Wars, of course. So in order to get hybrid armor, you need to win a lot in certain minigames. I have all of the different minigames and what parts you get from them listed on the screen. And in order to get the parts, you need to win games. The more wins, the more chance you get of getting the item. Once you get your first item or two, it becomes much more common to get more after that. So for example, in Castle Wars, it takes about 65 to 80 wins to get your first helm. But once you get to around 100 games, you'll be getting a helm every one in three games, roughly. Overall, it should take around 100 hours to get your entire first set of the items. And then after that, I believe it took me about 10 hours to get my second and third sets. So it's not too bad, considering how good they are. Uh, I'd say it's pretty reasonable, and also doing mini games can be pretty fun. The most difficult mini game is Soul Wars now because there aren't all the bots that used to crowd up Soul Wars and make it really easy to get on the winning team. But you can always use the Soul Wars clans. I have um, a name Soul Wars Zombies listed in the description. Uh, I know that's a decent Soul Wars group, and I'm sure there are also a lot more. They always seem to be spamming their friends' chats in the Soul Wars lobbies. I've got a few more tips and a whole lot more info on hybrid armor in general in the description, so if you have any more questions, give that a read. One thing that people ask a lot is how you actually get the hybrid armor from the minigame, and what happens is after you win a bunch of games, sometimes the hybrid armor interface will pop up after a minigame. It looks like what's shown on the screen here after a Castle Wars game, um, so you just click on the piece of armor that you want and it appears in your inventory. Some people, for some reason, think that you get it as a drop during minigames and some other weird stuff. But yeah, it's this interface. So now that I've talked about what hybrid armor is, what stats it gives, and how you get it, I'd like to give a few more specific tips on specific setups that I've found that are very useful with it. Uh, also, first off, I'd like to mention that I almost never use Vanguard because with a negative mage defense, you get owned really easily by mages and that's worse than getting owned by the other combat styles because chances are they're going to be freezing you. So yeah, it doesn't. It just doesn't work very well. If you ever find a situation where there aren't any mages though, then Vanguard's amazing. The specific sets that I like using in Castle Wars, you can have a really, really good freezing set by wearing Trickster with Barrow's Gloves and having ZGS Bolas and Ice Barrage. So Trickster gives you range and magic bonus so that you can use the Bolas and Barrage very effectively. And then if you use Barrow's Gloves, that gives you a bit of melee strength and offense. And you also get the damage bonus from wearing the Trickster armor. So that's very good. You can freeze any anyone pretty much because you've got all three combat styles to freeze with. And also if you switch the ZGS for his Ami Spear, it's very nice for killing people with the rocks underneath Cast Wars. That's a really good set for it. Also, uh, you can be a mage tank using Trickster with a Staff of Light spec because Trickster gives good, well, not amazing, but it gives good mage and range defense. And with the Staff of Light spec, you have very good melee defense as well, so you soul split with that and you should do quite well. Uh, also, if you have an Inspiration Aura and you're barraging, that's a great way to get your special energy back, so you can do a lot more Staff of Light specs. Also, wearing Trickster with a Staff of Light is a nice way of scoring Castle Wars because you get good mage and range defense, which are the main things that people use to freeze you. 
if you're trying to wear uh, stuff like Battle Mage for the melee defense when you're scoring, you'll get owned by people with bolas and just rangers in general. So Trickster is probably the best thing to score with, besides like Pernix, of course. It's, yeah, probably Trickster and then Pernix for scoring Castle Wars in, uh, in the big worlds. For Battle Mage, it's really nice in some situations. It's not my favorite set. I, I like Trickster the most, but Battle Mage has its uses. If you use it in Fist of Gothics with a Steel Titan, it allows you to use Mage and Melee with really good bonuses, and then your Steel Titan ranges. So you have uh, you have the two combat styles, and then the Titan takes over the third. So you can destroy pretty much anyone because they can't defend against everything. Uh, if you don't have a Steel Titan, that doesn't work so well, but uh, you should try getting a Steel Titan. It's really good. Also, Battle Mage is really useful in Soul Wars because a lot of people may lay in there. You do get owned by the Rangers, but ideally you'll be in a group of people that's large enough that you can uh, you can be barraging to heal. It was really nice for the bots because you could stand at the portals by the waiting rooms and just uh, AFK barrage pretty much, and it would get you tons of magic experience because there were so many bots. But yeah, no more bots there. Or, well, there are bots there, but not nearly as many, so it doesn't work. And then finally, if you're doing more one-on-one -on -one fights, things like fight pits, uh, or just fun fights with friends in the minigames, uh, you can hybrid between different sets of hybrid armor. Sorry, that sounded weird. Uh, but hybriding between something like Battle Mage and Vanguard is really good because you are you have good stats in two of the combat styles, so it's really easy for you to switch around what you're doing, what attacks you use, and then if they start using the thing that you're weak against, then you can switch to the other set and still be able to use two different combat styles. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, and that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions about hybrid armor, feel free to post in the comments and I'll try and answer as many people as I can. Uh, make sure you read the description first, though. I've got a whole lot of information in there, and they link to RS Wiki, which also has a whole lot of information. And I'm sure some people are also wondering why I'm making this guide now, as opposed to like seven or eight months ago when Hybrid Armor came out. And I actually did make a video about Hybrid Armor back then, but I wanted to redo it because it had some copyrighted music in it, and I'm trying to phase out anything that's copyrighted on my YouTube. And also, Hybrid Armor hasn't been updated a few times since it was released, so I thought I'd make an up-to-date guide on it rather than leaving that old one up. I'll probably be remaking a few of my older guides, so keep an eye out for those in the coming weeks. And that's everything. Thank you for watching.